All right, welcome to the first card autopsy video, grading card autopsy video. We're going to try and make sense of some of the grades that we've gotten on these cards recently. What I am going to be doing is we're all right, let's try that again. So we're going to be doing, we're going to try to figure out why these guys graded as they did. We're going to use two of the Paul copies because I have the same card, two different grades. We are going to then, in the next video, take a look at these Mario Lemieux, which I have at 110 and 116. Try to figure out the riddle there. Um, and then we're going to take a look, in video three, we're going to take a look at the Dunruss Elite inserts. Um, we have a Brett Hall at a five and then a Patrick Wild at a six and a four. We're going to try to decode, understand the differences, understand the reasoning, so that if we happen to send in cards from similar sets as we move along in the future and grading prices become more reasonable, uh, we have better results. So let's get started on this 2012 Fleer Retro Paul Coffee. Now, the so we got the one on the right is an eight, one on the left is a six. The the eight, right? So this to me, if you look, if you put these guys side by side, you'll see that the that this guy, that the eight, the one on the right is much is a little um, higher off the or the you know the body is is higher off the bottom of the card. Right? You can see by the difference in between under the flare showcase, right? Much more significant. Um, and I, I think that that is, um, that is, it makes the one on the left actually better centered. Now there are other flaws, which we'll see here, but I think that's part of what's giving the, the eight, uh, or starting it off at a bit of a disadvantage. You really see it on the back where, you know, his, you know, even though it kind of looks better, right? Where you can see the whole stick, as opposed to, uh, you know, a portion of it. My sense is that the this centering top to bottom is is more uh, more aligned than this one. Um, if you have specific knowledge on these cards, you know, certainly chime in. But that's that's the first thing I looked at, and I couldn't really find a, an, an issue with this um, card beyond a couple of things. So first off, there, which we'll see in in the six here. We've got some corner issues in here, which these are, I don't want to say they're dinged, but you can see there's a little little residual. So I think that, that took away from the card. And also there is a surface, a little surface issue. You, you can kind of see it. You'll see it like right down the middle, right where I smudged the case. But that's definitely on the card, and I think that's part of the, the, the problem uh with this so i think you you put the the centering and a corner issue and then on the back a little corner issue there and it adds up to an eight i feel like this is a pretty fair grade for this card as much as i would have you know liked to see certainly a nine now when you look at these side by side and thinking that the one on the left is a little better centered you know, I might, you might be like, geez, I, I can't really figure it out what's going on. Um, I think when we look at now the centering left to right on these, this is where the, the eight has a better centering. There's a little more room on the puck to the left. I think that's one of the problems with this uh, card. And I'll say, I say one of the problems because there are a number upon further review. We have the same challenges in the corner of this one and this one have problems. I don't know if you can kind of really see that. Um, and then we also have um, a little, almost what looks like a little bit of a nick up there in, you know, on, on top of his head. So there are definitely corner issues here and they get really actually pretty bad when you get on the, when you get to the back. If you're taking a, a look from here, you can't really see it. But as you move closer, we've got a real problem on that corner. Yeah, you can see that. And we've got a problem on the top. Same way on the front, you've got a problem on the on the top one on the back. There are a couple of um, you know, there's some rough edges in here, but I think the big 
you know, the big challenge, I mean, that's actually, that probably looks pretty bad too. So all, all those in totality, um, I think make this, uh, make that six viable. So I think PSA did okay with these and, uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you for, uh, card autopsy number two soon.